Many gathered at the McDonald Museum in Middleton Saturday afternoon to take part in the opening ceremony of the Every Child Matters Finding a Way Forward exhibit that will be on display at the museum until July the 29th. This project that started in May of 2021 by the Rug Hooking Guild of Nova Scotia and was completed by five Mi'kmaq artists and 48 rug hookers honors the indigenous children who suffered and died in residential schools and also honor those who were taken from their parents, culture, and families. Families, along with raising awareness for the residential school survivors and their families. Well, it was brought to my attention over a year ago. One of my board members had seen it on the CBC and said, I think we should have this exhibit at the museum. So I had a quick look, and the minute I saw it, I thought, yes, we need to bring that to this community. Um, it is very much um, an artist within our area as well in the valley, although the artists are from everywhere. It's a good way to help raise awareness and to keep educating, which is so, so important to bring up to the surface and have these conversations as uncomfortable as they are. Our group, who are the Rug Hooking Guild of Nova Scotia, and there are eight, almost 800 of us worldwide, not just Nova Scotia. We decided we would like to do something, but we really didn't know what would be appropriate to do. And for six uh, months, we chose to get in touch with the community leaders in Indigenous communities and ask them what was appropriate to do and if we should follow through with that. And we got the same answer from um, all the leaders and the community members to say, yes, we should pursue it, and they wanted their story to be told. The great thing about art is it gives people a chance to discuss these painful topics. They're, you know, painful topics, things we got to look at. But at the same time, uh, that we're trying to move forward in a good way. This concept of every child matters is very important because uh, ever since those first numbers come out, the 215 children that were buried in uh, Kamloops, B.C., near a residential school, it uh, actually checked about 10% uh, of those schools, and right now it's somewhere around 10,000. Since the graves had been uh, found in Kamloops, I have wanted to learn more and respectfully uh, acknowledge those children uh, in whatever way I can. And so it has taken me on a quest to become better uh, informed and to acknowledge uh, the stories and to listen to those who have those personal stories to share. And so today was an, another opportunity to see some pretty magnificent pieces of artwork that share that story. It is a wonderful exhibit and I am very, very pleased to have it here. And, and I again extend the invitation to anyone to come and look at this it is beautifully done and it carries a great deal of meaning for everyone and if you'd like to come see this very powerful and moving exhibit for yourselves it is on display here at the mcdonald museum in middleton until july the 29th where it then moves to moncton new brunswick and finally ross farm museum in new ross nova scotia midway through september where it will be on display for national day for truth and reconciliation and mi'kmaq history month and again if you'd like more information on the McDonald Museum here in Middleton and some of the exhibits they have, including this one. You can find them on their website at mcdonaldmuseum.ca or on their Facebook page. Reporting in Middleton, Nova Scotia for Swinomer Media, I'm Ian Swinomer, and thanks for watching.